Christ Christopher Supran writes in the New York Times, quote, presidential electors have the legal right and constitutional duty to vote their conscience. I believe electors should unify behind a Republican alternative, an honorable and qualified man or woman, such as Governor John Kasich of Ohio. 15 years ago, I swore an oath to defend my country and constitution against all enemies, foreign and domestic. On December 19th, I will do it again. Mr. Supran joins us now. Nice to see you this morning. Hi, good morning. Why won't you vote for Donald Trump? Well, I think that he fails three basic tests. One, uh, it's not sure to me that it's, he's able to defend the nation. There's clearly some ties to Russia that need to be examined. There were at least 50 national security experts that came out who were all Republicans during the campaign and said Mr. Trump would be dangerous if he were elected president. Beyond that, he has not taken the opportunity since the election to unite the country in any way. In fact, members of his uh, transition team have been retweeting fake news stories, which endangered a pizza shop uh, going family yeah. just a few days ago. And then finally, we don't know what his financial conflicts of interest are. He's played fast and loose with the law on multiple occasions, and I think this is another example. He's the first president since, I think, President Nixon to not release his taxes. And that has to be a question for people when it comes to the emoluments clause and presidents profiting off the office. Yeah. Look, I hear your reservations. Um, we've covered many of these stories, all of them, in fact, that you're talking about. But Donald Trump won. And this is our democratic system. He won fair and square. Well, let's back up. The election, as I can tell, was fair and square. Mr. Trump disputed that just a few days ago, which is part of the reason why I came out when he and his vice president-elect came out as well to say that three million people had voted illegally. They have yet to ask for a recount to figure out where those illegal votes are or came from. But further, the election isn't over. The election happens on December 19th when presidential electors cast their ballots. That's when the election is complete. 